And I'm very pleased to welcome all of you here at the studio. You, you've done such a big uh, trip. Uh, and uh, uh, yesterday I talked to our Ukrainian guild uh, and they just asked me to tell you a few words uh, to thank you uh, for living a different life uh, on a different continent, uh, but thinking about Ukraine and willing to help uh, with the, the open heart. And you know, all the things you do, is uh, with all the people who donate the quills. It really matters because I've told uh, Hal uh, last uh, our meeting that uh, this project uh, is about the opportunity for women around the world to give a hug to Ukrainian kids, to Ukrainian families, and that really matters. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you. So these ladies came from all over the United States, um, from California, um, Arizona, Pennsylvania, Hawaii, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Utah, who have I missed? Arizona, Indiana, Tennessee, um, Natalia. Oh, <laughs> she's from Lviv. Oh, Natalia! Oh, okay. Hello, Ukrainian. <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, um, and Natalia. Switzerland. Switzerland. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, Idaho. So, oh, I missed Idaho. Yes. Idaho. Hawaii. Um, and they're, most of them are quilters, many of these are their quilts, um, and we want to hear a little bit about you too, and how you started this, and, but yes. she's non-stop, so you just have to raise your hand if you have a question. She, she talks fast, but she has so much information in her head. Yeah, so, um, uh, I, I would like to uh, tell a few words about uh, how, oh, mm, how the quilting uh, changed uh, after February 24th, uh, but uh, the main thing is that it didn't stop. And uh, all the quilters didn't stop. So our activity grew in order to, uh, um, the division of uh, charity uh, help and charity uh, um, activity uh, grew up very fast because there was so, many, so much needs uh, needed. And first of all, Quilting is a great potential of a human to be connected, people to be connected with people. And, uh, uh, well, uh, the quills that we first uh, received uh, from Rep Ukraine with quills and now Rep the World with quills, uh, uh, we decided not only to give to people, but to, sh to make the display in Kiev uh, to show uh, how um, to show the quills and then to be delivered. Uh, so uh, we uh, found a place and actually it is <coughs> like a bomb shelter. So our display are not canceled even uh, due to the threat of attacks and so on. And they are, dis we have the display in, uh, in the uh, Kiev city uh, center. It's the old town uh, and in a very spectacular place. This is uh, the tower, uh, um, uh, Lavra tower. Uh, tower uh, and uh, we have a place <coughs> to show there at the very center that uh, people don't stop uh, the quilting don't uh, didn't stop uh, and uh, the war is not the point uh, we would like to live in and uh, this is the main aspect that uh, people are against of the war at any kind 
So then uh, the quilts uh, have been delivered to the deoccupied territories. Uh, and uh, the thing is that we have the volunteers uh, who are um, uh, going to these uh, territories with uh, the humanitarian help and then they deliver it like to families directly with uh, uh, and when they are sending the photos all we see that uh, well, uh, the uh, villages that were under the occupation or under attacks they have no colors and it was the late uh, uh, winter and uh, most of the houses are destroyed but the kids wrapped with the quilts and these are the colors uh, that were given to them and we the, these things are very touchable, and the big size quilts uh, were delivered are, are delivered to hospitals uh, to the soldiers who are uh, <coughs> under the rehabilitation, uh, and we uh, uh, we uh, the priority for uh, those who have nobody to come to visit them. So mm -hmm. this is thing. Uh, this is uh, we we don't take photos. So we we have one photo, but we ask our volunteers not to do that in ethical terms uh, because it's it is okay for us. And uh, these quills uh, will be delivered. Uh, we have a list. Uh, I have sent Gina the list uh, of uh, uh, kids uh, who have lost their far fathers uh, as a soldiers in February twenty fourth, and. Uh, uh, these quilts will be delivered to them and uh, the statement uh, that uh, people are thinking about these kids uh, that uh, uh, all you do uh, with the, your uh, trip here is that <coughs> the world sees them see and, uh, and is willing to help us uh, and uh, they are supported they are thought about it is very important uh, just one uh, thing uh, uh, I would uh, add uh, that uh, our uh, psychologists that go to these deoccupied territories and work with the um, families with kids, they say that for those families that have lost everything, like houses and so on, this quilt is like the first point uh, of security and the start of their new life, when they can wrap with it and feel themselves um, uh, safe and... Uh, uh, thought about uh, and uh, just uh, that s uh, there are people who uh, who care about them so this is uh, very um, this is very touchable thing and this is very important thing and the uh, um, we work not uh, with the, um, uh, the donation is a big part of what we do right now and uh, the initiative uh, wrap uh, the world with the uh, quilts uh, just uh, uh, started to grow wider and there are lots of the people I in Europe and quilters in Europe who have joined on their like own initiatives and they were looking for some people to send these quilts also so uh, this is uh, um, this is like a, a very um, a big movement uh, and it is uh, about uh, people to help people and mm. people to support people no matter what uh, language they speak no matter what country they live no matter what <coughs> kind of religion they have and so on just people support people and i'm very thankful for what you do and for that uh, initiative uh, and uh, for for just uh, staying humans in that difficult times so if you have some questions i would better ask your questions <laughs> as far as i <laughs> so i just want you to tell you're ukrainian yes i am and then you came to poland just tell your story a little bit and then um what you and your husband do and mm -hmm. with cars and yeah yeah okay so uh we moved to poland five years ago as uh, in 2018 so that that was the first uh, for our family, we realized that the war will go further because that was the, the first intention of uh, some uh, uh, terrorist state to uh, show their, uh, their uh, how much plans to go further. So we decided to, to take our kids uh, outside uh, of Ukraine, but we still with Ukraine because we have our business in Ukraine and uh, uh, we moved here in 2018, uh, then the pandemic came, uh, my studio worked in Kiev for 15 years uh, and uh, uh, because of the pandemic I wasn't able to fly that uh, that often uh, but in, in fly at all <laughs> so yeah. because I, uh, I kept uh, working uh, in Kiev uh, though I lived here 
because it took like one hour and 15 minutes to get with plane uh, by plane uh, to Kiev, uh, and it, it was not a problem. But then I decided to move uh, the studio here because uh, because of the pandemic. And then the work came. Um, you know, when the work came, uh, my husband and I, we have the pharmaceutical company, uh, but uh, we uh, understood that we could use our uh, expertise and experience uh, to help Ukraine. And we started to um, fundraise uh, for uh, medical help, or for wound therapy needs, uh, and um, we we have uh, we don't have a big uh, uh, company. We have like a company of eight people, but uh, we did uh, uh, we, we we were looking for any opportunity to help. Uh, so uh, our score, a uh, fu fundraised score, is one point five million euro for uh, medical and hospital needs uh, for the wound therapy because like uh, um, most of the, uh, the fundraising has been done in the United States because they were also some charity organization, charity funds, they were looking for um, people who are uh, able to get the medical cases being done and be that bridge between America and Ukraine in order to help people. Uh, for now, uh, for now uh, when, when we started to collect the quilts, uh, we started. I've started to look for the opportunities to deliver it to Ukraine, and uh, I found uh, uh, lots of uh, volunteers who were buying the cars. We were also buying the cars and are buying uh, to uh, for for the soldiers. And the cars they have the space. As far as the uh, people uh, are buying the cars and they are transport them, they're trying to fill every fulfill every centimeter with uh, the help. And so we have uh, I have joined to some groups, uh, and so that that is kind of a networking, uh, human networking. And so all the quills uh, are packed into these cars, uh, and uh, yours uh, will be partially delivered uh, on Saturday, uh, this Saturday, because, uh, so this is kind of a schedule. Okay, you have something to, to bring to Ukraine, I'm here to help you, that's how it works. Uh, and this is a very, this is, uh, the war is uh, a very dif difficult period, but it shows, uh, uh, opens up people for people, mm -hmm. and so many uh, support, uh, so many um, open-hearted people uh, uh, we have met and I have met personally, so uh, we hope that uh, that war will finish soon uh, and uh, the rest uh, of our activity will be f focused on rebuilding mm -hmm. <laughs> and that, that's what we work on. Um, uh, Mainly my, uh, my, in my family there are four men who are on the front line uh, and they're being soldiers to nephews and to their fathers. So the war is a little bit closer, it's much more closer to us that, than uh, it could be. Uh, that is why, so uh, that kind of uh, an activity like uh, receiving the quilts, uh, uh, bringing them to Ukraine, uh, organizing some projects and uh, uh, like uh, humanitarian health project management is a kind of a therapy for us uh, mm -hmm. because uh, the expectation of uh, SMS or news uh, as if they're okay uh, where they are is uh, very difficult uh, uh, but uh, given that energy into the appropriate uh, route uh, is, uh, is really helping. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Mm. Amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You said four of your family members are fighting in the war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, two nephews uh, and uh, two their father. <coughs> so these are the step brothers uh, of my husband. Mm -hmm. So were, were they in the in the service yeah. before the war came, or did they just? Uh, they were uh, so uh, the uh, the fathers uh, they have uh, 40, 40, 50 and fifty five years old. Uh, uh, they were uh, serving in two thousand fourteen, so and mm -hmm. they were like uh, uh, that was their decision uh, decision to ca to go. Mm -hmm. uh, one nephew he has can I just. just I'm sorry, can I interrupt just for a second? Yeah, yes. Natalia needed to take something from the bus because the bus is not waiting for us here. He cannot park here. Oh. So just to make sure. If you guys need anything before 12 o'clock, before he picks us up, take it. If not, he will come back here before 12 for us. Okay, sorry. Oh, okay. Is, is Natalia leaving? 
She had to get not her backpack. Not until 12. 12. Yeah, have a bus. She had to get her backpack. Okay, so they, uh, that was their decision to, uh, for the fathers, uh, uh, they, that, that was their decision to go in uh, 2014 because the war in Ukraine lasts for eight years, uh, actually. Uh, and uh, for one nephew, he has been on the service uh, before February 24th, and he has uh, finished it uh, on the uh, 15th of uh, uh, January 22nd. So he automatically uh, was prepared, and uh, that was also his decision to go. The second one who, this nephew is 22, uh, the second one is 30. Uh, and he has never had any experience uh, on military service, but uh, he decided to go out uh, on the third week uh, of uh, big invasion. And now, uh, now they serve uh, on the front line, uh, and uh, so, yeah. Um, what is the rule? Is it if you are a male between a certain age, you had to stay and fight? Uh, you can you can you can fight uh, as uh, uh, there are uh, different options. Uh, it's not that uh, uh, you cannot leave the country. Can't leave the country. Yeah, uh, because you can be asked <coughs> to serve, uh, but not everybody is asked to serve. Uh, so uh, if you you can go, uh, get on the list, uh, you can. Uh, e e e that that is like an option, but most of the people that that was their will. Uh, to go, and uh, that is how uh, um, I, in in my um, uh, I I didn't hear uh, the uh, so in, in, in within the circle of my friends uh, or uh, my family I I didn't hear the. Um, the, ca the, the cases when, for example, uh, a person didn't want to go and it was asked to. So uh, maybe they are. I am. Uh, <laughs> we didn't. I don't know these stories. Is there a, a place or a function for women in yes. the Ukrainian army? Yes. Yeah, there are lots of women, and uh, they are uh, in all the um, uh, types of troops. Uh, uh, so they are on different. Uh, divisions uh, starting from snipers uh, and uh, spies mm. and so on so uh, women uh, are uh, very uh, deeply integrated into that work uh, and uh, our, our our military has uh, upgraded uh, all the, its system to be able to involve women as much as it possible mm. it is mostly like uh, in Israel right now when women and men are serving at the same level they have calls, right, from the government, so they, they go there voluntarily. Uh, yeah, so uh, they are not called, mm -hmm. but uh, they, um, uh, most of, yeah, so they, they go through the some uh, uh, learning, uh, some education, and that is their initiative, but uh, the quantity of them, uh, uh, if, if we will take the percentage, it is uh, more than 25 percentage for now uh, women serving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So they they serve not only for, like in medical uh, segment uh, for medical help, but they also serve uh, as uh, soldiers. Soldiers, uh, and they're very good soldiers. Uh, even in some <laughs> cases, better than men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But what I've heard that from the government, uh, they created the list of professions uh, among women that yeah. is very much on demand in the army. We don't have it as an obligation, let's say, but uh, it might be that mm -hmm. uh, the women will be calling, uh, especially for medical support, especially psychological support, and many more. So we have like up to uh, 100 different professions that are required in the army, and uh, the women oh. might be as well called. Uh, like drafted. Like, yeah. Drafted is. Dra drafted? Drafted is what we Drafted. Drafted. Very strong. We hope not, uh, right? Actually, this is a kind of a discussion because the thing is that about that thing is uh, uh, that uh, before February 22nd, there were no even like uh, women occupations in army, so they actually served as a volunteer but couldn't receive any salary, get mm -hmm. any salary and any like working experience mm -hmm. uh, uh, fixed. So it, it is kind of a, like a legalization of women women mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. army and uh, some some aspects they are just uh, just like in politics uh, they just uh, uh, kind of a uh, manipulating with 
the idea if uh, uh, we are getting more women so the women will be uh, obliged to serve uh, and so this is kind of a like, political discussion but it is uh, now now the thing is that all women who are serving in the Ukrainian army they are uh, uh, officially in the list of the army at the same level as men mm -hmm. so this is that makes sense mm -hmm. so the boy, like we, I've met a couple of boys who are 17 from Ukraine. Um, when they turn 18, are they required to go back? No, they're not required to go back. Uh, uh, so uh, they will not have the opportunity, if they are on the territory of Ukraine, they will not be able to leave Ukraine according to the war, uh, war time, because uh, 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 this is uh, the restriction. Uh, so they will be like on a waiting list uh, for call for the army. It, it might, uh, they, they might receive that uh, call or not. Uh, but uh, they, uh, nobody, uh, even though uh, these men who are outside of the territory of Ukraine, but of, at the age uh, to be able to serve, uh, will not be uh, recalled uh, from uh, any other country to go back <coughs> to Ukraine. It's uh, kind of a, like a personal <coughs> will, if person wants, okay. But nobody will uh, run after uh, these uh, uh, men and uh, uh, take them back to Ukraine. It, I want you to tell us about um, how you started quilting, but also the quilting association in Ukraine. Because is, is there a lot or not very many? Uh, well, <laughs> before February twenty fourth, we have uh, we had one hundred fifty seven uh, members uh, on the list. These are like an official members. We didn't have uh, the option for like a, a prepaid membership. Uh, this is that was kind of a, like a. Guild uh, uh, where where women were joined with the same uh, uh, ideas to promote Ukrainian patchwork in Ukraine and outside Ukraine. Uh, so you call it patchwork, quilting? You call it quilting or patchwork or both? Both, both. Okay, just just like <laughs> yeah. in, in American. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, we uh, we started. So officially, we have registered the uh, Ukrainian Quilters Association in two thousand seventeen. And uh, it was like an in, uh, tool to get integrated to the European Quilters Association because uh, there are 19 countries, and uh, we that that is the entrance ticket uh, for the uh, participation and cooperation within the festivals around all the Europe. Because Ukraine before that, uh, before uh, uh, 2017, and even before 2014, before the war started uh, with Russia, uh, we were like a part of uh, the Russian project because uh, we didn't have that much developed uh, uh, market for goods, uh, for supplies, and, and uh, there are not so many um, distributors uh, that uh, could actually invest uh, into the festivals uh, and some exhibitions. That's why uh, we were like <coughs> participating in uh, uh, festivals and uh, shows, like craft shows uh, in Moscow and in Russia. Yeah, but uh, after uh, 2014, uh, 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 me and most of the um, players uh, and the craft markets uh, market of Ukraine decided not to go, and uh, the, that so we have uh, we started to refocus and search for the opportunities to develop uh, our project, uh, our vision, and our like uh, ide like a craft identity, mm -hmm. <laughs> so and patchwork identity as well. Uh, mm -hmm. So we in two thousand seventeen uh, we um, established <coughs> just like a legally a Ukrainian Quilters Association, mm -hmm. and it has been integrated into European Quilters Association, and we've started to uh, promote Ukrainian quilters at the festivals of Europe but in two, uh, and from 2018 we have started the cooperation for, with the International Quilters Association in the uh, United States uh, in uh, Houston uh, and Houston Quilt Festival mm -hmm. and the starting project was the quilt show project mm -hmm. uh, like the um, uh, they had a, an exchange uh, uh, um, how that uh, the quilt exchange? Right. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. The idea was that uh, two uh, two quilters, one from United States, the the second one is uh, from some other country outside the United States. They are choosing the uh, image, or uh, and they are making the quilt. They are not uh, do not show to each other. And then these groups, these pairs of uh, uh, participants, they were presenting to the jury uh, of the quilt show their quilts and. Uh, that was uh, 
the first time uh, thanks to that uh, competition, that thanks to that uh, uh, project uh, that was the first time Ukrainian quilters, uh, quilters and quilts were displayed at Houston Quilt Festival. And uh, yeah, thanks to the quilt show, uh, it was to Ricky Teams. Ricky Teams is very supportive and he is uh, very hard opened uh, and uh, according to um, uh, he, he gave us that opportunity and we are always thankful for him. And in 2019, uh, the first Ukrainian Quilter entered into the competition and won uh, the uh, best prize uh, for oh. the innovating quilt. That was Natalia Lashko with her like a straw. Um, she is a unique person because she preserves the technique of uh, straw embroidery. Uh, this is the oldest uh, embroidery technique that was prior the golden uh, golden thread embroidery. So, because before the golden thread, uh, the, uh, there was like, a, the stroke was divided into uh, small uh, like threads and was uh, um, uh, in special uh, liquid, uh, they, they hold these straws in special liquid and then it, it was kind of a soft one and they were making the embroidery for priests uh, for... So you're saying the needle was made out of straw? No, and not the needle, but the thread was made out of straw. Thread. The thread. Oh, wow. And that technique, so she does like a straws uh, from the fabric. So, uh, and then uh, she she makes kind of like an embroidery with the straw. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, this is, uh, and, and she does, um, I will send to Gina some uh, images of her artworks. I don't have for here <laughs> it here, but uh, this is really a very um, uh, unique thing and uh, uh, her vision of how to combine the patches with this uh, uh, multi-layered uh, a straw applique is uh, really interesting. So in 2019, so that was the first time in history when Ukrainian quilt has won the top award on Houston uh, Quilt Festival, and we're really proud of it. We had different plans, but then the pandemic came, and so uh, for for now, her quilts are traveling around the world, uh, and uh, she is very popular as a quilter. She teaches, she meets with Quilt Guild, she shares that Ukrainian content uh, and context uh, uh, and uh, the Ukrainian style around the world. I will, she'll send it to me and I'll post it on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. so yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll then um, she was just on a podcast with Ricky Timms just a couple yeah. weeks ago, months ago. Yeah. Um, and she mentioned about the world of quilts. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. That was the moment. So uh, actually, when I have sent, uh, uh, um, uh, that was the moment that I was posting uh, some um, um, uh, the podcast story started uh, just uh, the way when girls from Ukraine sent me the video of how they are uh, suing during the uh, blackout. I was crying for a few days, and I was uh, really because understanding that when you don't have the electricity and you don't know when you will get the access to the electricity, but the first thing they did is to charge their elbow lamps. Uh, so just to continue suing and they were gathering together to, um, to, do, uh, to continue their strategy of life uh, uh, despite of the attacks. So I just uh, uh, sent him a message uh, saying, Ricky, um, I have uh, something to share with you. Maybe you would help us to share uh, this uh, story uh, uh, with uh, the Quilt Show or with uh, your Facebook page. I just want this story to be heard uh, and uh, uh, to be shared uh, uh, because uh, the quilting is more than just a, a craft hobby and the wartime showed that. Mm -hmm. So he answered to me just at the very moment uh, and asked, let us do the interview and we made a follow-up of the topics we can cover and one of the main topic was about the initiative from around the world and, what, and the first one was wrap Ukraine with quilts uh, mm -hmm. because I said that uh, there are so many things uh, are doing uh, like on a personal or group level uh, so people are really very involved into the topic of Ukraine and uh, one one thing that uh, I didn't mention about our activity is how um, 
quilt guilds from around the world uh, are uh, also connected to, with us uh, and how they are helpful uh, and how they are supportive uh, not only in financial but in, in emotional thing mm -hmm. so the quilts that you see with these uh, crown quilts uh, mm -hmm. they were made uh, by Japanese uh, um, uh, quilt guilds 100 Japanese uh, quilters gathered together and they have done uh, uh, these quilt blocks and I will show you from the outside there is the, it, it's on um, Japanese language, but you may see. We have so. someone who can translate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so so Cindy. Are, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Cindy. No, I don't read much kanji. <laughs> okay. So but I, I will make the photos, and if you would like, so I, I will be thankful for okay. translation. They will be, they will, uh, 100 quilters, they did, uh, they uh, did that quilt in blue and yellow colors, uh, just kind of a statement of support uh, and of, of peace. Uh, these quilts, uh, uh, I, uh, we ha I have received them here in December last year, uh, in order uh, to keep them in our um, association, in our quilt guild, to show in Kiev, uh, and uh, uh, to just to, to keep them till the victory comes. Uh, so this, these are not the only uh, uh, quilts that uh, we actually received. Uh, we received from Switzerland uh, uh, and they were fast, uh, uh, they, they, uh, they d uh, presented their quilt uh, during the Verona quilt uh, uh, festival. Um, uh, then they, uh, we have the quilts from uh, Estonia, Latvia, we have the quilts from Spain and France, uh, so coming. And this is kind of a, the, the patchwork is a real a tool of diplomacy tool. And uh, we do understand that cultural diplomacy tool. So it is about people to be connected to, with people in a very cultural way and a very supportive way. Um, it is very touchable. I told you she was a spitfire. <laughs> 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 okay, and uh, um, once uh, and and one more thing I would like to tell you about is uh, that uh, uh, it is uh, the initiative Rep Ukraine with Quilt also has become an impact, uh, made an impact for Ukrainian quilters uh, to uh, get involved into the donation quilt uh, uh, making pro uh, projects. And I have contacted to few manufacturers, uh, who, um, mainly Norscott, uh, are very, is very supporting Norscott fabrics from Canada. Uh, so they're sending us uh, the uh, uh, fabric kits, uh, uh, like a, donating, a donation kit. And uh, Ukrainian quilters, uh, uh, we are uh, uh, selecting the fabrics uh, and uh, giving to them, uh, and they're making the quilt tops, then they send it here, and uh, I'm making, I'm finishing it with quilt uh, with the quilting, uh, and it is kind of a, like a therapy when for them as well to have the opportunity to sew and to have the opportunity to donate and support uh, those who have lost everything, and it happened to be a very uh, powerful movement. Uh, that thing about qu making quilts, uh, making charity quilts uh, is uh, a great therapy. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I can show you one of the quilts uh, just, uh, uh, so yeah, this is, uh, yeah, so there are lots of the options and, and most of the things that uh, ladies uh, who are receiving the uh, uh, the fabrics for fabric ki kits, uh, they um, always make some uh, art ideas uh, and uh, make some, some quilts, not just uh, the very easy to do, but Ukrainians are about individuality. <laughs> we uh, always want to be like uh, to, to show some individual aspects. Uh, that is why when I'm receiving this quilt, everyone is different. They look for those that has been already done, not to repeat it. <laughs> and for them, this is the opportunity to show their skills, to show their art approach, uh, to show uh, just uh, their vision. And so every charity quilt can become a masterpiece. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, how it works. Uh, and uh, uh, when I have started uh, uh, quilting, uh, this like a charity quilting, um, uh, Sharon uh, Perry, she's a very famous uh, designer for the quilting part, uh, digital uh, uh, quilting yeah. designs. Mm -hmm. uh, she contacted, uh, we just uh, had a, a small talk um, 
uh, about a, a previous quilt and me using her design. And I uh, just asked her, you know, Sharon, um, uh, I don't want to be uh, annoying, but uh, there, you know there is no Ukrainian style uh, digital quilt and design. Uh, and uh, would you like to make some? Mm -hmm. And she did, uh, uh, and she did few uh, using Ukrainian uh, symbol. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, good result. Trident. Trident. Yeah, trident. Yeah, trident. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Trident at a diff uh, with a different. Uh, um, uh, options uh, and uh, it's uh, I'm finishing one big quilt and then the trident will go uh, first uh, that was they will be the first Ukrainian style uh, quilting design to be quilted and to be delivered with the uh, charity quilt mm -hmm. awesome. wow. is any of the fabric um, you have made in Poland the fabric or does it all imported no, it's all important. Imported. Uh, no so fabric is made in Poland. Uh, there are some manufacturers, but uh, uh, patchwork. Uh, uh, I've uh, tried to. Uh, uh, they are much cheaper here, but they are of a different uh, weight or different print oh, type. Okay. Uh, lots of Polish quilters use their native uh, uh, um, fabrics, but. What patchwork is about is about the sharing of the ideas of the visions mm -hmm. uh, and uh, of like a designer combinations. It is a, a little bit it's a different uh, branch of uh, 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 supplies and of uh, the notions. So here uh, I have uh, uh, Norscott, Moda Fabrics, RGR, Lysian, uh, uh, Andover. Uh, so this is uh, um, this is about. Uh, um, Maybe I'm a little bit selfish, but uh, the fabrics that are presented here at the shop though, are those that I like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have any other questions? The pictures you see, so these are the, uh, there was a project devoted to wow. Ukrainian painter Alexander Exer. She is an avant-gardist uh, and uh, um, mistakenly, because uh, she lived in the period of the USSR, and mistakenly she was named like a Russian painter, but she never was, and that was her reason to move out from uh, U USSR to Europe and continue her art, uh, and uh, she wasn't able to be recognized during her lifetime as a Ukrainian painter, but then uh, she, uh, but but now we are uh, like uh, changing the right uh, his story and the history about her uh, um, paintings and uh, her unique Ukrainian avant-garde style, uh, because it was um, yeah. it was the moment that in Ukraine in, uh, there was no like uh, painters avant-gardists, uh, but she was, and ladies decided uh, to make uh, such. Um, uh, quilts, uh, following her paintings, uh, trying to uh, make uh, uh, it exactly as it was, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, so th that the idea and the project uh, just uh, found themselves were combined during these uh, hard times. That uh, this is the only project that actually was done during the blackout, during the war time, but the art uh, was helping our quilters uh, to. Uh, keep uh, strong, uh, and uh, this is the main thing. And uh, these uh, quills were uh, we were uh, were um, presented first uh, at Verona Textile uh, uh, Art uh, uh, in uh, May, and it had they really have um, a big energy and uh, a shine in them. So I hope uh, you to see uh, to see them all and yeah. Made since February? Yes. These were made uh, since uh, August uh, when the war has already started. Oh. So they have started that project in August uh, uh, 2022. 
and uh, the actual so they needed to finish this project uh, till February fifteenth uh, uh, till the first of the February uh, twenty twenty three, mm -hmm. and the so as as we all know when we enter into any competition. So uh, we do not start to sue at the very first day. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like uh, the last three weeks uh, yeah, yeah. deadline. <laughs> and uh, like uh, no sleep, uh, no yeah. eat, no plans. And, and so the idea do not inter... Uh, 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 you don't have the idea before that moment. I don't know why, <laughs> why it works, but it works that way. Mm -hmm. And so the moment uh, that when the blackout, the... the the most difficult blackout it was the december and it was uh, uh, january and it was november so three months november december and january it, it, and that were, were the months that uh, women were doing their quills uh, either than uh, they needed to make the confirmation and the italian um, verona textile art uh, uh, quilt show uh, they needed the confirmation from ukrainian quilter as if uh, to save the space for exposition oh, yeah. for these quilts because they uh, we have received the central exposition space uh, uh, and uh, that they were nervous about whether it, it, it won't uh, be empty yeah. Uh, yeah yeah so because uh, they so they were each given that, that, it's okay, that it's piece okay. of art that I just threw on the ground <laughs> and then um, told to make a quilt. Yeah, the yes. idea I will tell, uh, I will tell you, uh, oh, that's fine. I can, I, I can take it yeah. uh, to show. The thing is about that, uh, these are the paintings of the very famous Ukrainian avant-gardist uh, Alexander Exter. And uh, she lived uh, in the time uh, of uh, Soviet USSR, USSR, uh, Soviet Union. And uh, uh, during, after the Ukraine has got the independence, uh, most of, um, in most of the uh, publications, uh, she was noted as a Russian uh, painter. Mm -hmm. But she was a Ukrainian one, and she needed to move out uh, from Soviet uh, Soviet Union just to continue her start be, uh, her her art uh, mm -hmm. work uh, because uh, there was no right uh, for avant-gardiste uh, to work uh, because uh, that kind of uh, art was not recognized uh, in the USSR, and that was her deep uh, pain for the all of her life that uh, she was uh, recognized as the Russian painter. And our ladies uh, found that information because, as far as the war started, the war has started at the, all the levels uh, of uh, our life. Uh, at the mental level, first of all, it, it's a uh, kind of a receiving the uh, understanding who you are mm -hmm. and who what are uh, what roots you have uh, mm -hmm. and etc what is uh, your historical cultural background and so uh, the ladies uh, Aksan, uh, Natalia Safonova who was the uh, like uh, the person who has started that project uh, and uh, she was uh, like a push person uh, mm -hmm. to um, uh, uh, to, of, of, for that uh, Alexandra Exter project, uh, she uh, heard the story of uh, um, necessity of cleaning up the history about the Ukrainian culture out of uh, uh, being named as uh, some other countries. Mm -hmm. So that is how she found out Exter and she contacted with every quilter uh, personally asking to inviting for the project project uh, and uh, most of uh, there are so many quilters that moved out uh, from Ukraine some uh, uh, frustrated because of the war but uh, she was uh, that kind of a person that uh, was pushing in appropriate way to make that happen that project happen mm -hmm. and uh, when she told that story about Alexander Exter uh, that she was also kind of a, like a fighter for uh, being uh, able to be named uh, as a Ukrainian avant-gardist mm -hmm. <laughs> and she didn't uh, get that option uh, during her life so that uh, um, that, that idea uh, worked very uh, good for quilters and so most of the quilters uh, most of the quilts you see there uh, girls were not uh, good in art quilt at all uh, didn't have uh, this is uh, their first experience but uh, the way they uh, um, made uh, the quilts on the basis of the images is uh, is incredible <laughs> and to imagine that uh, these quilts uh, were done during the blackout uh, uh, it is also the combination of the power of art and the power of uh, quilting uh, we have so 
um, yeah, so for us, uh, it, uh, this uh, project uh, uh, has, um, it's, it's kind of a statement. Uh, it's yeah. kind of a statement for peace. Yeah. Are they mostly hand-stitched or machine? Uh, machine or and hand-stitched uh, because, uh, so the first time, uh, the, 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 uh, so the details, uh, uh, the cutting of the details uh, were being done by hand. But uh, then the quilting has been done uh, on the machine, and so that was the moment as soon as they were receiving the getting the electricity. So, yeah, so the they turned on their machine to to quilt. Wow. Well, when we were teaching our workshops yesterday, um, we found that s many of the women had never sewn before uh -huh. or had done very little. They were precision. They wanted to do it right. Yes. They were eager to learn. And so the work ethic that they wanted to do everything. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. we were impressed mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, when I uh, told uh, Ricky teams about that project, because uh, when we were uh, uh, pre uh, preparing uh, for the interview, uh, he spent like few hours just uh, talking because he wanted to uh, to get a little bit deeper in, in, into that topic. So, yeah, and uh, he, he told us, you know, I will be always telling that story, showing these photos during my classes for people who are losing motivation. Mm -hmm. Because as if uh, th there is no bigger power uh, either than not having the opportunity to do what you want, what you love to do and what you like to do. And uh, even work and not st can, can stop patchwork. <coughs> That's uh, mm, yep. that was uh, the mm, unexpected thing because mm. I told Gina uh, that uh, even me uh, I uh, I'm running the studio for fifteen years and uh, uh, I was uh, really blocked uh, I didn't understand whether to continue yeah. or, or to close yeah. and for three months. Uh, I didn't do anything and it was like uh, frozen uh, and then that was the moment uh, of my son uh, so I have son he's uh, he will be 14 but that moment he was 13 mm -hmm. so he uh, he noticed that I don't work so my, my machine is silent and uh, nobody's here and uh, then maybe he heard that I talked to my husband maybe I will need to close the studio because we didn't know how the reality will, will turn and uh, whether that uh, 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 type of uh, business will work uh, and uh, I will have the opportunity to run further so uh, well and he came to my studio and he noticed nobody is here he is a very active boy and I didn't uh, that was the first uh, uh, moment I saw him to be an adult man mm -hmm. so he just came to me and said you know mom I've heard that you might have plans uh, to close the studio and I said well uh, that option can be uh, i'm not sure yet it's not the decision taken and so uh he started to, uh, he started to cry and he said like sorry <laughs> yeah uh, he said like um uh, uh, i was always an example for him uh, not to lose uh, the uh, uh, not to give up on the way to realize a dream and I always taught him just to follow the dream if you even uh, face any difficulties. Uh, and so he uh, told me, uh, the war is not the point to stop for you. You need just stand up and turn on your machine. <laughs> and I was, I was uh, frozen, really, How uh, because was he? he was 13. 13. 13. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he is kind of that boy, he is very naughty and sometimes... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I didn't expect that uh, he is uh, such uh, um, thoughtful. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and uh, I, I was shocked. I couldn't speak. And uh, he, he, he told me, no, 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 just stand up right now. And he took my arm and turn off, turn on the machine. Oh, wow. So that is, uh, that was the moment that I really, uh, uh, that was the moment I uh, decided to continue. <laughs> yeah, wow. that so that's sweet story. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and that's how, uh, uh, how it goes for now, because most of the uh, things we do um, is focused uh, uh, 
I, I may tell you that uh, since February 24th, uh, I don't see any like uh, uh, commercial or financial reports <laughs> according to my business. <laughs> I don't have time for that, <laughs> but uh, I, I don't even think that now it is kind of a business <laughs> at all. But this is a source to uh, meet with people, to cooperate with people, to focus the uh, efforts uh, to help others, uh, not only in commercial way or financial way, but uh, in order to deliver the uh, people's energy to people who to those who are uh, fighting uh, with the circumstances of war. So this is uh, quite a bigger sense that we have. Uh, and uh, uh, tomorrow there will be the opening of the uh, show of the display of the quills in Kiev in Lavra Tower, uh, in Great Lavra uh, Tower, uh, those quills that were made during the war. So, uh, and uh, part of these quilts, uh, the, here we have Carla, she, we, we are from, we have kids in International School of Krakow and uh, in uh, um, uh, June uh, 17th, uh, we will have in our school for our parents a display of the quilts where, uh, of uh, like a charity quilts and how quilting like a source of uh, um, uh, People's help uh, um, is uh, uh, making sense uh, uh, during this time. We will show uh, the Exer project uh, and her daughter. Uh, she is in IB class. Uh, she she's uh, like in IB. I don't know whether grade you. Grade eleven. Yeah, grade eleven. Uh, so she uh, um, uh, made a proposition to display of display of these quilts in the dark room. And uh, then, uh, and then, like focusing light uh, on oh, the quilts. Wow. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yes, just to just the color and the oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and uh, then we will show these quilts uh, also. We will have the room, and uh, I want want to make kind of a, like you know like a ca uh, uh, like a church uh, uh, quilt quilt yeah. show. Yeah. Uh, so it's uh, we will put the quilts on the tables and chairs uh, in yeah. rows, uh, and there will be the place uh, where the uh, we'll make kind of a, like a video presentation uh, yeah. of uh, how what what it is done, how it is done, uh, and how many people are involved, uh, and that uh, patriarchy is <coughs> about people for people. Yeah. Awesome. That's good. That's yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> And then at the end of June, they'll be given to kids, or uh, I think they will be given in the beginning of uh, July right. because okay. uh, um, after the uh, event, uh, uh, so part of them will mm. go uh, uh, this Saturday. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, part of those that we will uh, keep for the display could stay in Krakow for one more week uh, okay. in order to. We we now I'm not now in the um, negotiation process with the United Nations uh, Refugee Center in. Krakow and they are also interested uh, whether they would like to show it there uh, just to, to uh, support that project uh, and have that uh, cultural aspect uh, uh, for, of a display. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for showing our work. <laughs> yeah. <it's>, uh, <laughs> Where did you live in Ukraine five years ago? I was uh, I was born in Dnipro. Uh, now uh, this city is uh, under attacks. Uh, it is not occupied, but under the heavy, heavy attacks. But uh, when I uh, entered to the university, I moved to Kiev, and I uh, lived in Kiev uh, uh, for 15 years. Mm -hmm. So to, uh, here we moved uh, uh, from Kiev. Can you drive to Kiev from Krakow? Yeah. yeah. I, How long I, of a drive is that? Well, before war, uh, so it was uh, like uh, ten hours, mm, yeah. and uh, I can uh, I, I could drive. Uh, but uh, if we talk about uh, plane, so uh, first two years when I when we moved to Krakow, nobody uh, from even our friends knew that we moved out from Ukraine, because it's like one hour and five minutes uh, to get from Krakow airport to, to Ukraine, uh, uh, like a city airport, uh, and sometimes it was much faster than to get to the center uh, of Kiev uh, from suburb, <laughs> from oh, yeah. suburb. <laughs> that was kind of an optimization. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I have been to Kiev after the big invasion. Uh, two months ago, I've been to Kiev. Uh, hopefully, I was uh, I was just in that middle uh, in the in that uh, moment of silence uh, between uh, forced uh, attacks, uh, and I 
I've, uh, I've made uh, Krakow to Kiev, uh, uh, from Kiev to Dnipro, from Dnipro back mm -hmm. to Kiev, uh, and from Kiev to western part of Ukraine. Just I had mm -hmm. to make that route uh, because of my relatives uh, to meet uh, all my family. Uh, so actually, that was two hundred five uh, to two thousand five hundred kilometers. But mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, I may tell you that. Uh, um, um, I, I was not, uh, uh, I didn't hear uh, any explosions, mm. but uh, I saw what uh, uh, the war did uh, to Kiev uh, and uh, really, um, well, uh, but people are staying much stronger and uh, it is not that, uh, uh, it is, uh, uh, for me, it is uh, more difficult to stay here and read news mm. either than yeah. to mm. stay there. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else we can do? Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for uh, more machines uh, to be provided uh, for the center in uh, Kropivnitsky because this lady, uh, when, when uh, Gina, you, you wrote that you have two machines uh, to uh, present, so to donate, and I, and I was like, oh my God, wow, super. But then I, I understand that we have uh, two very um, active centers uh, where women sue and work uh, in patchwork, uh, one in Kharkov, mm -hmm. and though they're under attacks, but they really continue suing <laughs> and uh, making uh, some uh, suing for soldiers or some, s some, uh, some even uh, creative art, donated, uh, um, charity quilts. The other thing is, uh, the other center is uh, in Kropivnitsky, and that lady works with soldiers as a therapy uh, for them after rehabilitation. It works uh, just, uh, per uh, and she does that work. Moreover, she works in the university, uh, and she tries to implement the patchwork into school uh, uh, subject, uh, as to, uh, and she works uh, for five years for that and I think that when she will hear about these machines she works with kids she works with uh, women she works with men soldiers they just come and they they just make patchwork uh, and it's fantastic so th that uh, patchwork therapy mm -hmm. makes sense uh, and it's actually very very you're quite right because in England they found that after the Afghan war mm -hmm. the men to go into the hospitals and teach the men hostage. Yes. And their attitude when they sat there and finished was so impressive. They had something to do rather than be in the beds alone, have to be hand feed with nothing. Give them a piece of material, give them some material to do patchwork or cross stitch, mm -hmm. and it really is. So I can just say to you, if you've got a um, memorial hospital for soldiers or anything like that, mm -hmm. and you've got spare time, go and see if you can teach them some patchwork or some cross stitch. It really makes a difference to them. Yeah, yeah. Because this is uh, the, when uh, when we talk about patchwork. So the embroidery is very good for those who cannot move yet. Exactly. Yeah. So who are blocked uh, in, in the, the uh, yeah 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 in the beds. But those who have uh, just uh, moved forward uh, and have the opportunity to get to some uh, center. So it's uh, uh, it is fantastic thing because first of all, as we all know, patchwork is not about sewing. It is about communication. Yeah. It about it is about people doing things together, and uh, so when they get into that uh, uh, atmosphere of people being doing some good things for other people, so it create it, it is uh, a good motivation thing, and they understand that they are needed. They are not thrown out from the life, uh, and uh, it's uh, it is a, a very important moment because for that uh, Kropivnitsky Center. Uh, we have received uh, 450, uh, four, 450 uh, meters of fabric and I will uh, just uh, send uh, to them for uh, uh, charity quilts uh, making. So we will combine that initiative and the sewing machines will be... It's an incredible therapy for them. Yes. It's mm -hmm. one of the best therapies that I'm going out yeah. into the air, fresh air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even for ladies who are yeah. quilters because Thanks to that project, most of the ladies they were just they just woke up, mm -hmm. and uh, they just uh, understood that there is the reality outside the framework of war, mm -hmm. and they just understood that as soon as their hands started to work, so that was kind of a healing, mm -hmm. 
and I I know what they talk uh, talking about because I remember that moment when I was freezed and my hands didn't work. I didn't want even to stay in the studio because that was kind of an irritating moment mm -hmm. of the life that somebody stole uh, stole that yeah, life yeah. from me. Yeah. yeah. So that, but yeah. hopefully we move forward. Yes. <laughs> sell this by the meter or the yard? Oh, by meter. Yeah. <laughs> and a meter is a few inches bigger than the yard? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, uh, me, uh, meter, uh, one yard is uh, uh, 92 centimeters, mm -hmm. but uh, one meter is 100 centimeters. So it's eight centimeters less. Mm -hmm. so it's yeah. 30, it's like 39 inches. inches. 39 yeah. to 30 yeah. centimeters. So it's more than a yard? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, can these guys shop? You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> it's still a business. Yeah. Okay. We can help your I, help your financials. Uh, yeah. uh, your bottom line. Yes. Yeah. 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 You, you know, I, I would ask you uh, maybe to make the photos with the quilts. Okay. Because I want to make that uh, kind of a like a you know a bridge where when you are wrapped uh, with quilts and then we'll we deliver to the families okay. so you will see them wrapped uh, with oh, your okay. quilts oh. as well. Oh. Okay. Can I ask before you start shopping because I will not be able to oh. Oh. sort of collect all of you probably. I'd like to step in and uh, share my gratitude for inviting me first of all. Carl, thank you very much. Gina, Beth, Jen, so um, in my profession, I'm very, uh, like, uh, very active, very sort of uh, vocal, and, and hell knows about this. But in this project, I'm very humbled, and uh, I'm very sensitive because I'm going through this all. Oh gosh! And I was a refugee myself, and I remember every day, every moment, and the first calls from help, and Gina asking, "How are you doing? How can we help you?" Slow deep breaths. Yeah. <laughs> this is the these Body are the tears of happiness and yes. gratitude, of course. And I remember in Spain it was the winter time and Gina asked me, How can we help you? Do you think these quilts will bring a bit of brightness and a bit of color to your life with the kids? At that moment I was frozen and I said, Oh yes, <laughs> so please. And I still have them and I look at them and I remember every story that the first group shared and it was very touching it was very sensitive and each of you you are bringing your personal stories and this community is growing this is amazing and this ripple effect I'm so grateful that I met Maria today uh, because I was just thinking okay so Maria is organizing the exhibition in Kiev what about Viv? Because we also have a lot of potential there. We have um, like temporary uh -huh. displaced people. We have uh, very talented people, and I'm sure there are some members of the uh, yeah, community we have. in Lviv. Yeah. So let's do this. So it's very symbolic. I'm saying goodbye yeah. to you right now, but I met a person that I'm saying, and I'm sure I will continue communicating because everybody has got its own his or her own front in Ukraine, and. Uh, we work on different levels, as Maria mentioned, so on a mental level, an emotional level, on actions and activities and connecting people. Because, uh, yeah, this world uh, is meant to be for people becoming better. And you are bringing this uh, to our current situation. And yesterday, I remember every woman, Ukrainian woman, being so much thankful. And I remember so precious gifts that you were giving to them. And you even said, you don't have to say even thank you, just take it and, and use it and bring it back to your life, mm -hmm. right? So uh, restore yourself, be resilient and, and continue living because uh, this is what it's meant to be, right? Mm -hmm. So not a single evil can stop such a good that you are bringing. So I'm sure, I'm sure that uh, we will have huge, huge community in some time of, I don't know, hundreds and thousands of people. And it started from a very small, uh, sort of uh, intention of yours mm -hmm. to to bring this goodness and kindness uh, to this like the world that is needing your help yes. so we every person in Ukraine needs support needs care and needs this you know the extra proof that we are also deserving a nice life 
in a peaceful country, in a peaceful world, being free. So that's something we are standing for. And I'm sure we will get to the moment that I will be ready to invite you to, to visit my city, my country. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, we will celebrate this together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have very Next, Thank your you. arrival will be uh, for us uh, to uh, organize a trip uh, around Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah.